was a little dreamy girl in Canada land, in Canada, and I would thought, oh, wouldn't it be great to be on Broadway? I don't know how I'm ever gonna get there. I'm probably never gonna get there, and I'll just work at a drugstore, and my dream will die, and it'll be horrible. But I um, was discovered by Susan Stroman in an audition for Crazy For You. Within a week, I was pulling out of university and moving to New York City at 19, and I was in a Broadway show before I even saw one. The first night I was on Broadway, um, it was really surreal. I don't think I actually really registered it until like a weekend. I remember the end of my first week, I remember taking the curtain call and looking out and being like, oh, I'm on Broadway. The universe just sort of picked me up and plopped me down and there I was. And, and then I, I was digging my claws and like, I gotta stay, I gotta figure out how I can stay, I gotta figure out how I can work with the best people and continue this ride, you know? And, and it happened, it's amazing. Broadway to me is like, it's like that legacy, right? It's that legacy that I feel like I'm carrying on from years past, like all those people that we stand on the shoulders of, the, the feature dancers of the past, and that, you know, think people like Anne Rankin, let's take. Um, she directed Fosse, it was a huge part of that show, um, but she, in, in her own career, was such a huge dance star. So people like that, I think I, I'm really proud to carry that on. The Broadway dance scene, it's all about style. I mean, you have the technique, you have all that, but to me, it's the style. You, when you see somebody who's got that amazing style, like nobody else, and your eye just goes to, that's something that I'm really interested in, in carrying on, you know, and passing on to other generations. Oh my God, today was so much. This is like what every dancer, singer, actress, person dreams about, like coming here and working with the best like photographer, the best fake people, the best cameraman, like the best everything. Um, yeah, it was a blast. I feel like I'm actually dancing better than I've ever danced now. Aging in this business is really interesting. I think if you try to deny it, you're screwed because it's part of our lives. I'm always going after everything and I think because I live like, like that, I, can't, I don't turn around and go, I wish I was still 22, because I lived those years and they were amazing. But I'm actually now sort of in the, on, on the other side of 21. Um, I'm enjoying it more. I, I, I really, when, when I'm in a hit show, I really know what that means. When you step on a stage when you know that maybe Fred Astaire performed there, Cheetah Rivera, all those amazing legends of Broadway that you step on, those stages are just steeped in that legendary, magical thing that you can't define. It's that like the holding hands with the audience where you both there are there and you say, okay, tonight, this is one night, it's gonna be what it is. There is absolutely nothing else like it. So yeah. <laughs>